Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Pick Lock. So, we got some things and stuff to do. We got to go to the pub. A safe haven for the residents of our town. Here you can have both a camp and this good single malt whiskey. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a rest. Like, the word translated wrong, and they put camp instead of rest. The owner of this bar is an old man who keeps all the savings in a safe at home. But it's not easy to get in there, given the lousy layout and a loyal guard. So, let's go check this place out. So that guy doesn't move. And there does not appear to be a way in there from the outside. Apparently we can't we don't have the crowbar anymore, we can't just open the fucking windows. That'd be too easy. So the door is under surveillance. I need to get a distraction. Find someone in my district to distract the guard. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> Restart mission, because that's stupid. That shouldn't count. That definitely shouldn't count. You know what? We're here to scout, so... Let's scout. He goes in there for a bit. Goes, he checks this door to make sure it's locked, stands in here, watches TV, goes back to the bathroom. I have to find a spot. Does he, does he have a blind spot anywhere? Might be something interesting in there. Check his count of vision. Yep. Yep, yep. We hide here when he comes in. He won't see us if we hide down here. He stands there looking that way for a moment. We go in. Is that door locked? It's not. Okay, cool. So we actually probably need a homeless McGee. That's fucking bullshit. So. There goes the perfect run. <laughs> hey buddy, you wanna earn a hundred bucks? Maybe, but I'm afraid of what you want. It's simple. Come to the pub tonight. I'll break down the door, and you will have to distract the guard. Alright, but I want my money up front. Cool. He'll meet us at the pub. Let's go back to the pub. Alright, so when does he go in? He's gonna lead him out. He's gonna boot him out. He's like, get the hell out. Inside we go. Wait. Get the pool stick. Get the guitar. Oh, we may have to run. Hopefully he won't see us. Getting 
distracted by the homeless guy again. This is good. Alright. Did he really have no money in there? Oh, that's gay. Okay, so we gotta wait for him to... He's gonna walk out. Head in there. We're going to, because if I remember correctly, this next spot, if I remember correctly, his next thing is he's going to go straight in there and check that. So I need to, okay, so it's in that panel. things first. We got to steal the toilet paper. Okay. Come on, let me hit the thing. Let me hit the thing. I'm not gonna try and unlock that yet. We will try and take that thing, though. A laxative is added. That might put him in the bathroom for a good while. Why can't I not get the thing? Okay, so we added a laxative. So, maybe he... shits himself unintentionally? Takes a big long drink. 120 seconds. So there we go, now we got time. Oh look at that, he is pooping and he's got no toilet paper too. He's gonna have a bad time when he figures this out. Alright, so let's door. We've got all the time in the world. We've got all the objects, now we just need to get the money. So apparently we didn't even need to open that because there's nothing in it. Yep, there's all the money, $150,000. Can't get there, yes you can. So now let's get the fuck out of here. Hunter, hunter. Are you sure you want to quit? Yeah, we're done. We got it. Alright. So now we get to go back to, uh... Last time I kept calling him Pawnee, it's Poshvik. Ugh, I've been playing too much friggin' Thief Sim. <sighs> or not enough. <laughs> Today I find out about one creepy place. Never did I think to talk about it from that perspective. Okay, you have my attention. There's an old model on the town suburb. You'll find junkies and plenty of high-quality heroin there. Don't get caught by them and carry away a lot of the money in that white powder. I'll do it, even if such work gives me net profit. Take care. I'll go find the buyer. So, we gotta go steal from a motel that's filled up with a bunch of junkies and steal all their drugs. The motel. This, mo this abandoned motel is full of junkies and heroin. There is no threat of the police. I just need to be careful with the syringes and the psychos. 
they shouldn't see me. Well, alrighty then. Well, I can see by the weird eye someone's here, and that is a weed wad. That's some cash. And that dude's having a party. So we stole a weed wad, and all the money that's on this this map is that hundred dollars right there. So we need an axe. Well, let's go find an axe. First things first, we're gonna close this door, make sure this guy doesn't see us. Because we don't need any accidents. Hey! So when I hovered over there, I'm like, hey, we need an axe. <laughs> There's an axe over here. Nice. He's nice. Alright, so. Let's avoid the dancing idiot over here. Who is a boogie and around? That is definitely one way to do it. Oh, nice. Oh well, that was bad. Perhaps we shouldn't have turned the music off. Apparently one of the Dingus McGee's doesn't like when you do that. Well, first things first. Let's run over here and, uh... Get the axe, because we're going to need that in a second. That's easy enough. Now we just need to time this. So. Show me what we got. So she just does a parole. Or, a, not a parole, a patrol. And that guy's got some vision over there. If I turn that music off, he's gonna be freaky. Do I have a place to hide? No. So let's let's see if we can time this. Dun, 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 dun. She's gonna see me, it's gonna be bad. What if I hide right around this corner? I can't believe that worked. I also can't believe I didn't get spotted there. I did get spotted there, though. Okay. So what do we got here? Shouldn't see me. I should be just enough in the blind spot. So this person goes around there, like a drunk man. Okay, we only got 5% of the shit. So, oh, there's a second story. Awesome! Awesome. Yep, we're gonna let him see us. He's not gonna catch us, though. Oop. Go upstairs, go upstairs, quickly, quickly now. 
<laughs> Alright. We can break that window. Can we break this one over here? No. We can't go in that door, though. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, radio. Hiding spot. Weed wad. Heroin pack. Okay, so I gotta get all the way back there. Huh, I wonder if I can... I can jump out of here in a pinch. Okay, so yeah. Maybe that's how we get out of here. Okay, so this guy stands there for a good while. That will allow us to get that. Let's watch this guy for a second. back here. We jump in. Come on. Come on. Get the weed. Jump out. Cool. Okay. Japanese. They realize that something bad happened. We got 100 out of 100, so that's all that matters. And we only screwed up once. Now we can't just go downstairs, because Dancy McGee over here will see us. So instead, we're gonna wait for this guy here. strung the fuck out. You can tell by her twitching. Don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad. Uh, boing. Back in the truck. And another successful mission. Let's go back to Posh and see what he's got to say. Hmm, have a drink of water. <sighs> I was lucky to visit Solaris yesterday. Nice place with polite staff and good whiskey. Go on. For some 20 bucks, chatty waiters told me that you can enjoy serious poker game as well as dances and drinks here. Of course, is illegal. I guess this place is secured on top level? It is. Cameras, alarms, serious men in black. There will be a big game soon, so security is enhanced and the locker is full of money. I am excited. Finally the mission I wanted. <laughs> New tool, the tablet. I have no idea what this is going to do. Oh, apparently it's one of our disable cameras and alarms thingies. Cool. Toilet paper collection. Look at it. Look at it. It's glorious. Alright, so we're going to go steal from the gentleman's club. Nightclub. Neon lamps, soft sofas, and dancing girls have been luring the entire male part of the town for many years. Ooh, excuse me. As it turned out, this place has a secret 
as underground poker games are held here. I should be careful. If any mistake, I will not go to prison, but right to another world. If we screw up here, we don't go to jail. We die. <laughs> Alright, so that guy walks that front area. This guy manages that whole... Apparently, they're busy. That watches a door. That's a control panel. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. There's an alarm on this window, too. It's a good thing I didn't try to hack it. Where's this guy at? Can I go around the back? I can! So we're gonna go around back. Why? Because we can. Makes things easier. window? Nope. So let's go get in there. The strip show. Leia's hot. Alright, cool. So, camera there. Alarm on that door. Why there's a random red dot there? Oh. <laughs> well, I feel dumb. Some of these are locked and some of these are open. Okay. So, what do I need to do? Probably need to come over here and disable that one, which gets me in here. So that's how we'll start. Alright. So there is a plan. Ben ship. <laughs> I didn't realize he was about to move. So. So we'll just uh, follow Dude Man's McGee and go disable that. Is there toilet paper in here? There's not toilet paper in here. What blasphemy is this? You mean there's no toilet paper? So no one goes in this main room, I don't think. I didn't see any cameras in here. I can't get there. So we can unlock this door. I get what goes on here. See how quickly we can move. Oh. Oh. We do a great job. One at a time. 
one at a time. We got time. We're not in a big hurry. There's nothing to steal in here either, which is kind of silly, but alright. Yep, that's both the doors done. So now we just delete that, or not delete that, deactivate that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for him to come back and look at those cameras. Let's be polite, let's close all the doors. Not that we need to or anything, but it's good practice. And I mean, why wouldn't we? We are polite thieves. We only steal from people that can afford it. So that guy's gonna come back out into this hallway in a second, so we gotta get in here soon. Like right then. So we steal the deck of cards. There might be something hidden behind it. Alright, let's see what's behind the painting. Safe, huh? Let's see what happens. That's not good. That is definitely not good. Definitely noticed something happened. But they ain't gonna fucking call the cops, that's for damn sure. Oh, goodness. Let's hide back in there just in case. accidentally decide to come in here. So we got time. So apparently there was an alarm on the safe. Who knew? Huh. Huh. Oh, that doesn't go to that. That goes to the window. Alright. We only got half the object, so I'm missing one somewhere. Oh. There are two guns, so I can technically steal two guns. He doesn't move. Well, that's no bueno. That is definitely no bueno. I don't think it really matters if he moves or not. Shit! I didn't expect him to see me through the door. <sighs> All that work. Lost. Alright, let's do this again. We 
of time. Where's that go? That's green room. So we need to get that one eventually. So he walks all the way down here. get how it's supposed to be done. Alright. Alright, so let me show you how we're supposed to do it. So we have to deactivate that. second we steal from this save, because it has an alarm built into it that we can't deactivate, apparently. So, we wait here. Well, that guy opens that. We don't have very long, so we gotta pop this open real quick, like... wait for him to bypass, and then we go and hit those. I could probably hit both of them in one go, but I'm not willing to chance it. Not now. Because I know I can wait and get them in between runs. back out here. Okay, so all the cameras should be, the cameras should be off, all the alarms should be off. We're gonna go in this room first. Because we need to steal at least the two guns. And we gotta de de disable that switch. There's both guns. Get there. Yes, you can. So we lower that. wait until he's up here. Because that'll give us time. By the time I'm finished, he should be up here and waiting. That gives us the extra few seconds we need to get the fuck out of here. Tuckered out. 
and probably scared out of her wits. And this guy is like, oh fuck. Alright. So he's gonna walk down here and do some weird janky shit. Let's make sure you can't see us. Absolutely can't. And then we're just gonna follow him for a bit. Up until right here. Yeah, I know that this vision cone is all he can see, but if I stand right there, he's gonna see me. Or if I stand in certain places. I just know for a fact he's gonna see me in certain spots. So, we don't have very long to do this. It's gonna be tight, but it should work. That guy's seeing me, so when he walks away, we close the door. Alright. Oh, goodness. I don't think we'll go in the room with the stripper. I think we'll run down to the middle one. We can probably follow him and I can get in this one. So, let's let's see what happens. some time. This works. I forgot how fast I can pick those locks. And we need it because we gotta pick this one and then we're out. Let's get the fuck out of here. Robbery complete. Let's go back to Posh, see what he's got for his next. And that's been about 40 minutes. Sorry for the freeze there, I was checking to see the time. Hello. Hello yourself, Big Lock. Is there anything for me? I'm tired of these small cases. One day I'll end up in jail that way. I want a real case to make history. So, it's time to make history. Have you heard about a turning center in the south of town? I have. They are to paint an expensive motorbike. Although the surrounding area is guarded and full of bikers, but they are stupid and slow. Use imagination and steal a motorbike. My friend will give good money for it. Sounds good. Let's do it. But that's going to be for next time. This episode's been 40 minutes long, and that's probably long enough for everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And I appreciate it. Don't forget to make a comment. Uh, I realized that in episode 2, the audio kind of fucked up, but I can't fix it because... Uh, well, I lost the original recording of that, and I can't re-edit it. So, yeah not going to do post-commentary. Um, I just put a warning on there that there's bad audio and loud noises. Hopefully that's okay. But thanks for watching, and as always, toodles.